Good morning, students. Welcome back to SBR Online View, so SBR YouTube classes for SSLC students. So, in previous lesson, we came to know about in the part second the Isaac here, which I was written, and the next the girl who was Anna Frank, and the other poems also it's like Sonnet 73, Stolen Boat, then Butto, and one more CLM is there. So, I will continue it later. So, before to start this lesson, that is the pie and the tart, just we will have a recapitulation of these two, three lessons, that is the eyes are not here and the, the girl who was Anna Frank. See, in first lesson, that is the eyes are not here, that which was written by Ruskin Vaughan, repeatedly I am telling students, please remember the lesson name and the writer name, the poem name and as well as the, the poet name, because these two are very important for the reference to the context which is we are going to write for three marks. In each lesson, in each poem, you are going to get the questions. So after every class, I am going to tell you the what, what are the and which, what are the reference to context, how to identify it, and points to remember, which gives the brief summary of the lesson, brief summary of the poem, <coughs> everything. So it is a request to you people, please observe it very keenly. And one more, that in Ruskin bond, that is the eyes are not here, that lesson is, it is the same similarity with this lesson. That is how to make fun of others, how to cheat other people. The person who is standing before me, how to cheat him without his knowledge. So that is a different. But here, it is little bit different. There, it is for fun to time to pass the time. In the eyes are not here. It is for to pass the time because he was traveling in a train. So that's why, and he is a blind man. So to pass his time, he asks the questions to other people, and he will get the enjoyment. He will make the he will make fun of them. But it's not like that in the second lesson. That is the girl who was on a front. It's a very pathetic condition. A terrible condition of a girl who is 13 years. See how she has written her condition, her situation, her life incidents in that small diary which was named as Kitty. She has given a pet name for that. That is, that diary name is Kitty. That is for one marks. <coughs> Kitty. This question was asked many times. What is the pet name of Anna Frank's diary? That is Kitty. K I T T Y. Kitty. Right. Then how she has written, how she has mentioned the situation, the way as it is the situation that she has mentioned. How was the condition of Jews in the hands of Nazis? At the time of Hitler, in 1939 to 1945, till his death, how they are suffer, how they were suffering in the hands of Nazi people, Nazi army. Later, she has given the story. She has given the pathetic condition how the people they were suffering in the concentration camps, where they were treating like the animals. They were not giving. They were not providing the food. Water, medicine, nothing. Because of the many diseases, the people died there. Because there is no provide. They are not ready to power, provide the medicines, proper medicines to the patients. See, many things she has written. Just a 13 year girl. Now it is a worldwide, a very popular, very famous diary. Later, one more lesson is that that is a village cricket match that was deleted. So, we will continue with that also later. So, after that, consumerist culture. Consumerist culture by Cherian Alexander. See, in this lesson, how he is observing, he has a, that, is a, that is an essay, how he has observed for 15 to 20 years the mindset of the Consumers, how it has evolved time to time. 
See, if you observe the life at the time of the 60s and 70s, 50s and 60s, that was totally different. And 70s, 80s, that was different. In 90s, 95, that is different. 2000, that was different. And after 2010, after this 2015, now at present 2020, the life is starting to evolve. Changes are there. Numerous changes. Tremendous changes occur. See, earlier people, they are not uh, ready to go to the malls, but now they are very, very happy to go malls. See, how he has given, that is, comparison between the, this junk food and with Indian food, that is, desi food, which has a uh, rich in nutrients, that is, proteins. So, how he has compared and what are the effects on the economy? And what are the effects of or effects on our health? See, just because of flavor, different colors of flavor, we are eating it. Many companies are the MNCs, especially mentioned MNCs, because of advertisement, how much they give the money to these ads, advertisers, flexes, uh, TV advertisers, pamphlets. Then in internet web pages, if you open the if you open any website, so immediately the other beside the website advertisements will come there. If you are watching your YouTube, so first advertisement will come. That is for economy. That is for money. Because they want to give the they want to popular whatever product they are manufacturing. They want to sell it. That's why they are ready to reach the last person of the society so that's why this pepsi and coca-cola that is a big success story how they reached how they reached the last nook of the world that is every corner of the world how they reached and they got the success that now they are able to reach every corner of the world if you go to a remote village either you won't get the coconut water or the buttermilk but you will get the Pepsi and Coca-Cola there. Ice creams will get there. See, just that nothing is there in that, just it's a colored water with a few chemicals which gives a taste to tongue, not for the health. Which gives a taste to tongue. Now you people will eat pizza and burger. What is there? Is there any vitamin, protein? Nothing. Just it will give a taste to tongue. It is very tasty. That's why. This lesson is all about that. Then now, here, the last lesson of the second part. This is the last lesson of the second part. That is the pie and the tart. See, the pie means that is a pastry. It's a round shaped. See, it's like pizza, round shaped, uh, which was a uh, which is a, a sweet one. It's a sweet. It's a sweet dish. The tart means, which is a cheese. It's with cheese. Uh, in Canada, what do you say? That's is olgi. Right? That's the same. But in that same shape. But it was a very tasty and it is made with eel pie. Eel pie, that is a snake fish. I think you all people know it. Snake fish. And in preparing that, Mr. Gaultier was very famous. A famous pastor. In preparing eel pie, he was very famous. In Paris. What is this sir, sir? Suddenly go to the Gaultier. Well, this lesson was written by huge Chesterman. He's a France writer. This story is happened in 15th century France. Now it's not now. 15th century. Now in the mid of the 15th century. At that time. This play was written 
this play was published by Krish Chesterma. So he has given the situation, he has given the time, he has given the situation how the people they were cheating for to fulfill their hunger, to fulfill their hungriness, to fulfill their stomach. To fill their stomach, they are ready to do anything. Now those type of characters, so it's a play which was written by Hugh Chesterman, the pie and the tart. It's a play. And here, four characters are there. The first one is the Gaultier, owner of the bakery, who uh, was a very famous pastor, was a very, very famous baker. And Marian, that is Gaultier's wife, she is. Then Jean and Pierre. Jean and Pierre. That is, you can pronounce it Pierre or Pierre. Right? Depend upon you. So, Jean and Pierre. So, these two are vagabonds. Vagabonds means that is beggars. Beggars. See? They are very young and not ready to work anything. They are not ready to work anything at all. They need the food very easy. Without working, without hard working, without doing anything, they need the food. By using their logic, tactful of by using good words, talk at you and witty. This person, peer. But Jean is a totally lazy. Whatever he will tell, he will follow the rule. That's it. Whatever he will tell, he will just follow it. His work is to just to follow the peer. Whatever he is going to tell, he will follow it. Whatever the plan it may be. And this person, little bit confusion. He has a lot of confusions. No, you will come to know when we start the lesson. What confusions he has, that is, whatever the script he will give, he will make it in reverse. In the name of person, he will bring the eel pie. In the name of eel pie, he will bring the person, like that. Whatever he will give that suggestions, he will make it reverse. He will get confused because of phobia, that is, uh, fear in his mind. If I got in their hand, what they will do? Is these things are there in this mind. That's why. Right. So he will give the encouragement. He will encourage him and they will do the many things there. See, this story is around these four characters: Gaultier, Marian, Sermorian, Jean, and Pierre. These four only the characters in this story, and one person is there, that is Mayor. He won't be there in this, but his name is there. His name is there in the lesson, his name is there in the characters, so his name is there in the these dialogues, but his work is nothing to do with in this lesson. But his role is very important. Right? So if you have any confusion here, we will I will clear it. So shall we start it now? The lesson, the play, lesson number 10, they play. That is huge Chesterman written. That is the pie and the tart. Characters Gaultier, Marian, Jean, and Pierre. Four characters. See, now they give on the background. Background situation. These two people, these two vagabonds, they were sitting in a park on a bench. It's a, it's a play, that's why they have given. They were sitting on a bench. So beside that park, there is a bakery. That is a baker shop is there. That is belongs to the Gaultier. Two streets are there. Two streets are there. One side, bakery's door. Another street side, that is two parallel streets are there. Between that, Gaultier's house, including this bakery shop is there. One street is bakery shop store is there. Another street is background, back gate is there. That is 
inside, beside the back side gate. So these two were talking unnecessary things because Paris, they were uh, shivering because of cold. Because Paris is, you know, you know it's a very cold area. But these two were not the whatever shirts, whatever the clothes they were wearing, they are making fun of it. See, they were given the characters Pierre and Jean, vagabonds, vagabonds means beggars. Then called Pierre a pastry cook, and owner of the bakery, is very famous in preparing eel pie. Morian, his wife. The scene is laid outside Gaultier's 18th century. The act could be played on a curtained stage. You know it. Uh, if you are going to stage a play, then how you will prepare all those things? These are there. The curtained stage with the one door, back side. The only furniture is a bench. The only furniture is a bench. Jean and Pierre discovered. They come on the stage. These two, now they are on the stage. The former seated on the bench, one of the person was sitting in an attitude, extreme dejection, sad mood. When these two came, he was the performer was sitting and he went. Now these two were sitting there, later pacing up, up and down, pacing means in a sad mood, walking here and there because of cold and shivering. They were shivering because of cold. Both music, the both must indicate that they are cold and hungry. See, they are walking here and there because of cold. They can't tolerate it. So, they are just walking here and there, pacing, we call it a pacing, here and there, up and down. That indicates that they are hunger and cold. So first, the dialect starts with the gene. That is regarding Pierre's restless pacing because he is not at all standing in one place. He is just walking here and there, here and there. So that must you keep doing that? Must you keep doing that? You will do all the time this only? Walking here and there? Now Pierre is replying, it's this blasted cold. It's this blasted cold. He is uh, telling about the Cold, that is, he is, uh, what you call that, he is not uh, ready to tolerate that cold. That's why he is colding. That is, it's this blasted cold. If I stop walking, I shall freeze. You know what is freeze? You will get ice, you get cold. That is, if I stop walking, I shall freeze. I am dying of hunger and cold. See, here it is. Because he has two tensions. That is, first one is cold and second one is hunger. That is, who is that person? Pierre. The gym. So, am I? Not only for you, for me also it is hunger and cold. I am also starving. I am also sitting, I am sitting silent. No? But I prefer to die sitting down. I don't want to die like while walking, but I am ready to die. I prefer, see he is giving a preferences to death. I prefer to die sitting down. When I sit down, then that time I can die. It's a very comic. See, even that situation also, how these two people, they were talking comedy things. We make a pretty, Pierre is telling, we make a pretty pair. Now he is telling, he is very witty person, Pierre. Is very witty person and too talkative, and he has tactful words. He will use the tactful, good words according to the situation. He will handle the situation very good, very neat, and he has many ideas in his mind that he will escape from the situation very easily. That is his logical mind. He has a logical mind, but this gene is totally lazy. Next, peer. What is said? We make a pretty pair to you and I. Paris should be proud of us. See, 
pra Paris, the city which is known for fashion designing, which is known for its historical monuments. So now they are telling Paris, Paris should be proud of us because Paris is known for what? Because we both are here. It should be proud. Displaying his rags. Rags means whatever the shirt he was wearing, he was wearing that is the cloth he is showing, that is a, which is a uh, very old. There are 23 holes in his in this tunic. This shirt, he is showing his shirt by holding like this and he is showing. This is there are 23 holes in this tunic. Holes in this tunic, that is cloth, that is a loose garment. Tunic means loose garment, which was a very loose for him. That's why he is getting cold. I know because I counted them this morning. So there will be a question. How can he tell that uh, <coughs> there are 23 holes? So that's why he is giving the explanation. Continue. That is, I counted these holes in the morning. That's only reckoning. The ones that let the wind, that let the wind through. That's why the wind is passing through those holes. That's why I'm getting too much of cold. See how he's telling. That's only reckoning. The ones that let the wind through. I'm giving the space to the wind to, to pass. No doubt there are others, but let that pass. No, let it pass. Then chill. The oars in your tuning don't interest me. I don't, I don't have any interest in your oars which were there in, the, in your garment that is in your shirt. But what I am concerned about is the hollow in my stomach. He is very eager to eat because he is getting starvation, because he is getting hunger. He is hungry now. What is telling? The oars in your tunic don't interest me. What I am concerned about is the hollow. So, hollow means a big hole in my stomach. We must leave right? without a meal. See, now our situation is we are not getting any meal, we are not getting anything to eat. So, still we have to leave. We have to do something to get the meal. That's what I say to judge. That's what I say to Judge Gaston when I was pinched last month for begging. When I was begging in the street, so police arrested and they were taken to me the court. That time a judge asked me question. That is what? What is your what? That means telling. What is your condition? That what is? He asked me. Now Jean is asking. Say what? Pierre is giving the explanation when he went into the court, how judge, the conversation between the judge and Pierre. He asked me why I did it. Why I did it? And I said, well, your honor, I must leave. Why are you begging? Because why are you begging? That's a, that's a crime. But what he is telling to the, what he is giving the answer to the judge, that is, yes, your honor, because I have to leave. I must leave. That's why I'm begging. But, and he looked at me up and down. He looked at me from the top to bottom. Then said, I really don't see the necessity because you are young. If you are old, then it, it is necessary. But you are a young man. It's not necessary. You have to work. But he is taking fun of him and what it is. A genius telling a bad. The judge, the judge is a wag. I think he made up for jokes on you. I think he created jokes on you. Then he didn't know what it was to be hungry. Then Pierre is getting. He's a judge, he's getting a government salary. He don't know what is that hungry is. See here, my pretty, my beauty, that is my friend, this can't go on. We can't sit like this. If you can't, if you sit like this, we will die. I'm going to knock. On every door in this street. See, I can't sit like this, so I will go in this street and I will knock every door. And since charity begins at home, 
I shall begin right here. I will start with this home that is indicating the cake shop, that is Gaudiya's shop. You would better not be seen. Go into the next street. Don't take this one, go to the next. So I am going to this street, so you go to the next street. And try your luck, try your luck there. No, we don't know. Anyone may give the food. Jean begins to go, but Pierre calls him back. When he is about to leave that place, that time Pierre calls him back. That is, wait a minute, brother. Let's hear what you can do. How you will beg? Just to show me once. Just tell me once how you will beg in front of the house of your in front of the each house. So once you rehearsal here, so once you tell me that she knocks on the bench, whatever whatever the bench they are sitting on that bench, you will knock it. Just you will knock it and assume it's the mendicant. That fear is just they were assuming. You, you think that you are a mendicant. And attitude. Jean, for the love of Saint Agatha and all the blessed saints, have pity on a poor, miserable who has had no food for three days. How is that? After telling all this, he is asking, How is this? See how the dialogue is there. For the love of Saint Agatha and all the blessed saints, have pity on a poor. See, for three days, I didn't have any food. So he is taking the oath. He is telling the names of the God that is Saint Agatha and other blessed saints on that. I am promising on them. I am telling that I don't have any food for three days. He didn't have anything for three days. How is this? Three days is okay. Then Pierre is replying for that. How he will give the reply? Not bad, but make it for seven days instead of three days. Make it seven days. If you said three days, the people won't believe. Make it one day, make it four days extra. That is, including four days, it's a seven days. You see, seven days. No, the people will show the show pity on you, they will take the cancer. That is, they will give the food to you. Not bad, but make it seven days and squint slightly. There should be a pain in your voice. Don't say in a fluent. There should be pain in your voice slightly. It's a sure sign of starvation. They should know that you are dying for hungry. They should understand that when you, whenever you are saying this, whenever when you are saying this, you are, they should see your face and they should understand that. That is, you are really hungry. Then they will, they both of them will peer. So Jean will go to the other street. Peer is there, knocking on the cake shop door, Gaultier shop door, arms. It's the name of God. Arms. Good sir, for the love of God and all his blessed angels, take pity on a poor traveler, poor traveler who has had no food for a week. For one week, I don't, I didn't have any food. So I'm begging you. So he's telling the name. That is arms, good sir. They will that is arms good sir, that is God will keep you good, so he will love you if you provide the food for me, if you provide the food for me, he will take care of you, so because I didn't have the food for 7 days, so I request means I am begging you to give the food, but what he is telling Mr. God here, Ms. M means that is in France this is M. That is Messiah. M. M means that is Messiah. Mr. God here. That is Messiah. That no, no, means Mr. God here. Comes to the door. He is a man of about 50. His age is about 50. 
well preserved and obviously content with his lot so very uh, good personality goldier now goldier is entered into the screen till only two characters were there that is one is jean and another is pierre now third person third character is entering into the play that is goldier the owner of a bakery and a, a very famous cook that is baker go away i have got nothing for you in angry mood he is telling go away i have nothing for you my wife is away and i am busy i am busy you better go to the next street i don't have anything to give you because my wife is not there at house so you better check with the other street M. Gaultier slams the door. He suddenly he closes the door very rashly. Exit P. R. A. and enter G. He looks at the door, hesitates, then knocks. G. For the love of Saint Agatha, Saint Nicholas, Saint Crispin, and all the blessed company of heaven, whatever the heaven company is there, so they will bless you. Have pity on a poor, miserable who has had no food for seven days. If you give the food to me, sir, then whatever the company of heaven is there, that will bless you. See how they are begging. If you provide food for me, the whatever the company it is there, whatever the name is selling, Saint Agatha, Saint Nicholas, and Saint Catherine, Saint Crispin. and their company will bless you if you provide the food for me because i don't have i think so i this miserable poor who has had no food for 7 days see 7 days we didn't have any food the door is opened by morian see the first person who went peer in he went to other side and right? now genius came to another street that is the same door means same house the door is different right back door of the house morian see the door is opened by morian she is younger than her husband that is got here stoutish but comely she will talk too much she is very angry but even the okay morian Go away, beggar! Go away! My husband is out. See, the husband is telling wife is out. The wife is telling husband is out, and I have nothing for him. You, you would better call again when he comes back. You come back with. You come back when he will come to home. Mary shuts the door. She will close the door. Mary rush. Jean sits disconsolately, consolately. on the bench in a sad mood he will sit presently goldier comes out of the shop he makes as if to go out but remember something and goes back towards the shop marian appears at the door he is he went outside of outside the shop and he went a little bit further then he suddenly came back he returned to the home and calls his wife that she was present at the door mr goldier now goldier is telling what Ha, huh, Morian! I just off to dine with the mayor. Now the character came. That is mayor. Means he's the head of the city. Head of the city. What is telling? Ha, huh, Morian! I'm just off to dine with the mayor. I'm going to have a dinner with mayor. See, I'm telling you there is a difference between dinner and supper. If you are having a special food with a special person, that is a dinner. If you are having regularly night food, that is a supper. If you are going to have a spec uh, dinner, that is night food, on the spec special occasion, that is a dinner. If you are having regular food in the night time, that is a supper we call it. Then, huh, Morian? I'm just off to dine with the mayor. 
the city had he keeps none to good a table and he preserved a table for me i am thinking that i would better take that eel pie with me the big one that i made last monday last monday i prepared last monday i prepared that eel pie that was very tasty and it's a big one just get it for me hurry go speed go speed inside and bring it and must not be late i should not go late i am not ready to go late that is my dear very good husband very good husband she goes back into the shop but got your calls her back immediately will call her that what is telling got your what got your is telling wait i can't very can't very well be seen carrying it's a very big one i can't carry it on the street see while moving going in the street i can't carry it because it's a big one you will pipe through the streets of paris because is i am well known for preparing it and i don't think it's not good if i carry it can i not quite the thing for a man of my position whatever the position i am at right now i should not carry it so it's a it's my position do you think you could bring it along after me now he is requesting to her what is it do you think could bring it along after me then what quite impossible i have too much to do run errands i have lots of work at house i can't come with you by carrying this with you behind you why not send someone back for it what is the problem if you send someone to back it to bring it when you go to the mayor's house so send someone to bring it they will come and bring it ah uh, now got it is reply oh good idea but who but who, to whom i have to send so now what the wife is replying well you will be bound to meet someone on the way whenever you are going to meet the mayor or after meeting so you will get someone in the street so send them then god is sending yes but how will you know if he is the right one see if i send someone to bring the eel pie how you will identify it he is the that person right one anyone might just come and say they had been sent many people some other people they may come and they may see you they may tell you that no i only sent you god i only sent to you to bring the eel pie i hadn't thought of it so is that's also there i hadn't thought of it then i have it god is replying i have it i will tell the messenger when i have found him whenever i find the messenger i will tell him that is to kiss your hand that will be the sign and you will know that everything is all right see if anyone if i found anyone in the street so i will send them when he will come to the house what he will do first he will kiss to your hand then he will ask whatever i am telling whatever i told to you so he will tell you so what is now she is laughing laughing well choose a good looking one see how she is very witty woman she is how she is telling laughing well choose a good looking one madam goldtier's hand is not for everyone my hand is not for everyone to kiss madam goldtier's miss mrs goldtier's hand is not for everyone to kiss it's not the hand like others that is everyone can kiss marian returns to the shop goldtier exits he went to the mayor's house and morian she will went she went into the bakery and now jean was there on that bench who overheard all these dialogues whatever the conversation is happened between these two husband and wife jean heard all these dialogues that is he heard that no god is going to mayor's house he need some messenger he need one messenger 
So suddenly he started to think. Suddenly he started to think that how could I if I went to as a messenger? Anyhow, already the person got there, went to the mayor's house. So now no need of anyone. So I will myself only go to the shop. But what he is making the plan that is, what plan he is making that is, he said on that, I told that is, yeah. Morian returns to the shop, Gaudier exits Jean, who has ordered all the foregoing, foregoing, she's pondering, thinking presently, Pierre. At that time, Pierre enters into the scene. That is, Anila, Anila, Jean. Yes, I know. You will answer both. When he came to him, that time he is asking, Anila, so you came early. Is there any luck to you? No. That um, how he is replying? Yes and no. Both both is replying. What does that mean? So why are you talking like this? What does that mean? Whether I have to understand it's a yes or no. That's after a pause. Little bit. If it takes a little bit time, then he replying. Look here. In so he is telling. Look here. Are you ready to exactly as I tell you? Whatever I am going to tell you, you will do the same exactly as I am telling you. And no questions should be asked. Should not ask them any question. Period. I will do anything to keep my stomach quiet. I am ready to do anything. But I need food. If the, my stomach is full, my mind will work. I am ready to do anything to fill my stomach. My sh stomach should be quiet. Then I am ready, ready to do anything for it. Then, Jean, very well. Anything to keep my stomach quiet. Jean, very well. Now listen. Come here and listen. I am going to, I am going into the next tree. Directly I am gone. You think that I, directly I am gone. I am not here. Go up to the door, knock on it, and knock on it and say, Pierre, thanks. I have been there once today already. Now he is telling, Pierre is telling. In, when he was telling, I knock on it and say, that he is interrupted, that Pierre, thanks. I have been there once today already. I got what I expected. No, before telling, before the Conclusionally, he is telling, no, 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 went to that house. So, now he is imitating Gaultier, what he is telling, mimicking, mimicking Mr. Gaultier pompous manner, very, uh, what do you say that? Negligence in manner, he is telling, go away, beggar, go away, I am busy, going to the next street. And he spits, after telling this, he spits, because he is, Scolding to Gaultier because he is not ready to give the food for him. Never mind about that. Jean, now Jean is telling, never mind about that. Listen, I say directly, I am gone. First, listen to me. First, you listen to me. <clears throat> that is, you think that I am gone. Go up to the door and knock on it. The lady will come to the door. The lady will come to the door. See, whatever the, she is planning for the, to get the food. See, these two are not ready to work, but they are planning to get the food for, food from the bakery. See, how they will plan and how they will uh, prepare it and how they will cheat these two husband and wife one by one and whatever the things happened after this as with uh, husband and wife and Jean and Pierre, how they will cheat all these things we will discuss tomorrow. Okay, thank you.